Suppose we've set out to build a model to predict or explain y, and in building the model we've used the BC transform on y. There's a right way and a common wrong way to go about using the estimated model. We'll focus on lambda values other than 0 or 1 because lambda equals 1 doesn't change the shape of the distribution of y, and lambda 0 is a log transform and that has its own story. Let's start with the right way. After the BC transform, the interpretation of the coefficients and prediction is the same as for regular regression except that it's with respect to the transformed y. Consider this estimated model. The interpretation of the slope coefficient in this estimated model is a unit increase in x leads to a change in y to the lambda on average by b units. And we can use the model to predict the transformed y given an x. There are two things to note here. First, the transformed y may have an interpretation for specific lambda and here are some examples. If y is an area, like in meters squared, then the square root is interpreted as a linear measure of length. Similarly, if y is volume, then the cube root is also a linear measure of length. We can go the other way. If y is length, then y squared would be area and y cubed would be volume. If y is a ratio, then the reciprocal is also a ratio, but switched around. For example, if y is speed measured in meters per second, then 1 over y is time per meter. In these cases, it makes sense to choose among these values if your 95% confidence interval for lambda contains the lambda. Second, a case where it doesn't matter much about picking a value from the ladder of powers is if your y is an ordinal variable, like a Likert scale, that you are treating as if it were continuous. It doesn't matter here if you use the original y or a monotonic transformation of y. So that's the right way. Now here's the wrong way. The problem with the wrong way is this. Suppose you've transformed y, but you want to predict not the transformed y, but the original y, or explain the original y in terms of the x's. Perhaps a back transformation will work? Consider this example. The incorrect reasoning goes like this. To say something about the change in y with the change in x, you may find the derivative derivative of y with the respect to x and the details on the screen. Why it's wrong is because it's assumed the transformed model is the same as the expression in line 2, which is wrong. <coughs> it's actually the expression in line 3. So are we screwed? Not quite, guys. There are a number of ways around this, and it's beyond the level of the newbie. So I'm going to leave some references as starting points if it interests you. Before doing a transform, remember the BC is sensitive to outliers. And depending on the nature of your Y variable, a GLM may be more suitable. Okay, guys, so that's part of the series of the BC transform. Check out my other videos if you're interested in learning more about it.